Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to my youtube channel students if you uh, don't subscribe my youtube channel please subscribe by uh, the youtube channel and click the bell icon and if you are new here please uh, uh, if you have any question related to these topics you can send us via email or in the comment section email is given in the uh, description of the video Today we will study about Laplace transform of the unit step function and I will give you a small background of the unit step function and if you know uh, detail of the unit step function so you can uh, watch our previous videos u of t minus a u of t minus a is equal to 0 and 1 it is basically a piecewise function 0 is less than t is less than a and t is greater than a, greater than or equal to a. So it is equal to one. So this is basically a unit step function. And we want to uh, transform this function. And let we consider f of t is equal to one. f of t is equal to one. And we want to know the unit uh, step function Laplace transform, f of t is equal to one. So I use it here the definition. If I apply the Laplace of u of t minus a, f of t, Okay, which is equal to which is equal to Laplace of u of t minus a, and here we have one. This is basically equal to e raised to power minus a s f of s. So uh, if uh, f of s is equal to uh, Laplace of one. Uh, here f of t is equal to 1, so f of s is equal to 1 by s. e raised to power minus a s divided by s. This is basically the uh, Laplace transform of the unit step function u of t minus a f of t. Okay, students. Now uh, we know that, must know that the inverse of the unit step function. So uh, for inverse of the inverse Laplace of the u of t minus a f of t which is equal to which is equal to f of t minus a f of t minus a and u of t minus a uh, here uh, you know that we can apply inverse on this function inverse laplace of e raised to power minus a s which is the laplace of this function f of s which is equal to f of t minus a u of t minus a so now we can solve two examples for this to understand this concept for example for example we have a function like apply the inverse laplace transform on this function one divided by s minus four e raised to power minus two s okay students now uh, we use this formula here. Here, a is equal to two, and f of s is equal to one divided by s minus four. So we uh, inverse Laplace of f of s. We must know the inverse Laplace of f of s. So inverse Laplace of one divided by s minus four. And you know that we use previously in many formulas uh, to question this formula e raised to power minus a s and uh, here we have minus four this is equal to four of t so uh, here we use formula this inverse laplace of e raised to power one divided by s minus four e raised to power minus two of s which is equal to which is equal to f of t minus a, which is equal to uh, inverse Laplace of this function, and which is equal to e raised to power four of t, e raised to power four into t minus a. So a is equal to t minus two, and e raised to power minus, sorry, uh, we have u of t minus a, not this term, u of, u of t minus a so t minus 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 a u of t minus a and a we have recognized that a is equal to 
Similarly, I have another example. Example, I have find the inverse Laplace of this function s divided by s divided by s cos square plus nine s cos square plus nine e raised to power minus pi by pi by four s pi by four s. So first here a is equal to we recognized all this term here by using the standard form we recognize here a is equal to pi by four and f of s is equal to f of s is equal to s divided by s cos square plus nine. So uh, first we find the inverse Laplace of f of s, inverse Laplace of f of s, which is equal to inverse Laplace of s divided by s cos square plus nine which is equal to, you know that when we apply the inverse Laplace on this type of function, like I am writing here a formula for your uh, easiness, inverse Laplace of S divided by S cos square plus K cos square. So we call it cos of KS, okay? Cos of KT, sorry, not S. Now, it's mean that here we have k is equal to three cos square. So we have cos of three t. Now we have inverse Laplace of this and a value of a. So inverse Laplace of s divided by s cos square plus nine e raised to power minus pi by four s, which is equal to cos of 3t e raised to power, not e raised to power, we have u of t minus a, unit step function, u of t minus a, which is equal to pi by root. So we can also express this in this form, cos of three into t minus pi by four, sorry, pi by two, u of t minus pi by four. Okay, students, this is our uh, question for this type of uh, inverse Laplace transform formula. So if you are new here, please do subscribe my YouTube channel, click the bell icon. And uh, if you have any question related to this topic, you can send us by email. We will solve it and send to you. Thank you.